Hello everyone, welcome to this quick update following on from our last stream of Vampire Survivors. There are just a couple of things I want to follow up on, um, given some uncertainty last stream. So, um, one was relating to the unlocks. So I, the first time we played, I was sure there was a cat that we could unlock, and I was pretty keen to get there. Um, but on looking uh, since an update, I uh, couldn't find it. So I went back and checked the video of the first time we played, and indeed there were 111 unlocks available at that time. So I think what has happened is some have been hidden to keep the most surprises, because there was a section around, around here on the list um, of items that were unlockable if you got certain characters to certain levels, and they were characters that we didn't have access to at the moment. So I'm hoping all that is still in the game, but has just been concealed until we've unlocked the characters. And another thought that did occur to me, although I haven't confirmed it, is that, where is it? If we, here it is, the Grim Grimoire. If we get to the library, the second level, which we have unlocked, um, and we get to find the Grim Grimoire, I think that might be the thing that unlocks the, uh, the codex of creatures and characters for us, which is also something I'd be keen to get to. So I'd be looking out for that in future playthroughs. I think the only other thing I wanted to mention was to follow up on the Nduya Fritter, which uh, is is interesting. It's a real world thing. So I, I looked it up after realising last um, last stream that I just hadn't bothered to look into to what it was or anything. Uh, but yeah, so Nduya apparently is a Calabrian spreadable sausage, which uh, even if I wasn't a vegan, I think I'd have trouble with the term spreadable sausage, but uh, that's what it is. Um, a tr it's a traditional recipe. It's made with chilli peppers, so it is notoriously spicy. So I guess that is why, when eating one, you would then belch flame upon nearby enemies. So there you go. Hope, hope all those things helped clarify our previous session. Um, I'm not sure when we'll be back with Vampire Survivors or if we'll be back with Vampire Survivors. It might be nice every now and again just perhaps to drop in a show and tell video to show off something uh, that I think is pretty natty about the game. Um, but in the meantime, plenty of other games and videos to be working on. So I will see you soon for something else for sure. Until then, take care. Bye bye.